right, good to have you all back. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. It is Monday, we're doing Mass Make March. What do I have on my desk? This is actually cut up masterboards. Um, so we're doing masterboards today. You know, I've already made a gazillion, give or take a few, but I also know there are lots of newbies out there that are watching my videos at the moment. Hi. Uh, who probably don't even know what a masterboard is and it's so much fun to make. So let me explain what is a masterboard, what do you do with them? How do you make them? And then let's start making some. So what is a masterboard? A masterboard is basically a large collaged piece. Um, you can do this on several different surfaces. I like to use less love scrapbook paper, like a 12 by 12, that I'm just basically going to use as um, cardstock. Or you could uh, do it on, on book pages, on magazine pages. I also made some in encyclopedia pages. Um, you don't even need to cut them out. So just glue stuff on. Uh, it's collaged with scraps. All sorts of papers. And I mean you can use all sorts. You can use book pages, magazine pages, digitals, photographs, newspaper... Any, any kind of paper, guys. And also add your bits and bobs or washi tape or whatever is flat and that you can glue on. So there are big pieces of collages. So is that fun? That's so very fun to make. But what do you do with them? Well, what I like to do is make the big collage, flip the page over, yes, and then cut it up into pieces. It's so much fun not seeing where you're going to cut because that is fun. I think the most enjoyable. And then, and then what? Well, then you have this. Then you have this. You have fantastic pieces of ephemera that you can make into anything. This could be a belly band. Yes, put another label on or a big fuzzy cut or what have you as a belly band or as a side tuck. A, a journal card. You can even, I did also did the, the backs on these one. You can journal on them, round corners, do some inking. Uh, you can make pockets, you can make tags, you can make all sorts. So cut them into different uh, sizes of pieces. See what happens to the piece that you uh, cut out and, and then decide what we're going to do with it. Um, what I also like to do, if I have a very, very good one, if I made a masterboard that I really like, is to scan it, if you have a scanner, a printer scanner, to scan it and then print it out and then cut it into little pieces so you can keep sort of the original um, masterboard. See, I made pockets with a, a notch in here. You can glue it on a, on a page in a journal and add a big label on it or, or what have you. Okay, so... Um, this project will allow me for a lot of chit-chatting. So it's going to be a chit-chatty kind of, kind of video. I'm going to show you what I am going to use. It's very simple, guys. What you need is a, a background, a surface like scrapbook paper or magazine paper or whatever. You need glue and you need papers. That's it. If you're going to cut them up, you need a paper trimmer, ruler knife or scissors. That's basically it. So... Take out your papers, your uh, glue of choice. I'm gonna, just going to use glue stick. And let's start making these masterboards. So I have my scraps. I have some well, less love scrapbook paper. I bought this probably years ago. Tropical Summer with foil. Why? I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably never, ever use this. Now, this is the single-sided um, uh, scrapbook paper that I do use. I'm going to explain later why. I will never, ever use this. No. Well, no, don't say never, ever. Yeah. Um, because I do not want your eyes to hurt. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna flip it over. Yes. Okay. So this is a 12 by 12. Now I have my I am a person that organizes their scraps. Um yeah. So um, I have organized it. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do, guys. Collage freestyle. Collage like nobody's watching. However, I am going to make um a couple of masterboards in themes. And this one is going to be neutral. I'm going to start with a very neutral one. So just um, book pages of all sorts. Now you can just go diagonal or just rip it or... 
Whatever you want, lovies. Whatever you want. I am not inking the individual uh, pieces. I've, I've taken out a new glue stick. Now, uh, while I'm just putting pieces down, you can have them stick out a little bit. Yeah? No worries about this. Actually, I do sort of recommend this. So that you can make sure that no white will uh, show up of the scrapbook paper. So I'm going to have everything stick out a little bit. This is just a cool piece. Is this cooler? No, I'm going to do this piece. Overlap it here and there. Guys, just put stuff on. Uh, while I'm collaging, while I'm collaging, uh, let me explain a little bit about the glue that I'm using. I am just using glue stick. Now, you can use all sorts of glue for this. There's even like collage, what is it? Collage medium. Yes, I tried this. I am not really good with collage medium, I must add, because I, I think I'm very heavy handed. So everything gets really, really wet and then it gets really, really bumpy. And then I don't like it anymore. This is actually uh, an antique piece of... Are you going to do it? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. This is actually really, really old. This is a piece of... Um, not really ledger. It's like... A bill. A check. Or something. It has a hole in it. Yep. Yeah, and also with the matte medium... Sometimes I like to stamp over my pieces and then it doesn't really doesn't work anymore. So no, I don't don't really enjoy it. You can have straighter pieces or sort of ripped like raggedy edges. I prefer mine all to be sort of straight-ish. So I'm just using a ruler to cut a little bit off. Yes, these are not scraps, lovies. Even though this is a lovely piece, it's not scraps. No. I'm just going to put it on. And it's a very good sort of um, exercise for collaging. And you cannot go wrong, loves, because we're going to cut it up. And it's going to look completely different. And this is going to go here. Also, perfect sort of um, project. If um, you don't have any mojo, you're like, I, I need to craft something, but what? What am I doing? Well, make collages. That's what I basically do if I have no clue what I want to make, but I want to make something. I make a collage, take out my papers, and then glue stuff on other stuff. Always works for me. See, this is not straight, straight, but that's all right, it's quite all right. I have a lovely little sort of small advertisement piece. Then I'm going to glue on here. There we go. Ooh, look at this. This is from a Sears and Roebuck um, book. Not a real catalog, guys. <laughs> no, those are very hard to find. And if you find one... Um, very expensive. You can glue on the piece of paper. I'm not even going to. I'm just going to do this. There are different ways to make uh, master boards. What you can also do is, they call it uh, making a snippet roll. Which means if you have smaller book pages, lots of them that you don't use. Yes, you, you can use them to glue on, make them into glue pages. Um, but what you can also do is sort of line two of them up, start collaging, and then, you know, go over them to sort of connect them. And then you can make a snippet roll. It's very, very fun to make because you can add as many pages as you want. So you're going to have a, a large sort of strip of uh, collaged paper. And I really like making those, uh, except for the fact that... That well, I usually make them very, very tall, long. And um, how do you store them? So let them dry for a little bit, and then you can actually sort of roll them up. Tried that. 
my gosh, it even has a date on here. This is from an old magazine. Uh, I'm going to do that piece a little bit later. I tried it, but then... Oh, am I doing this? Are you? No. <laughs> I am not doing a this, but I am doing a this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put a, another small piece here. And then you sort of, you know, when you want to use it, you roll it out. It never flattens out, guys. Well, mine just don't. So I stopped making snippet rolls. They are really, really fun to make. But cut them up right away. Don't store them anywhere and then cut them up uh, later because it won't it won't work. It just won't work. Ooh, this is something that I stamped. I don't know. I think I just want to keep with the book pages. I tried die cutting something with this. Probably. Some time ago. I do like using... Um, if you're going to make them neutral, different shades of paper. Otherwise, it could have been, you know. What is beeping? Did you hear that? Something is beeping. In my home. I have no clue what that is. I will check. Something says beep. It's not the dishwasher that is not on. could be like a fire alarm you know that's like battery low speaking of battery low i have um something of a bluetooth speaker type of thing we had a new one and uh when the battery is low there's a lovely lady that tells you the battery is low but she also tells you this when the device isn't on so yeah, that scared me after that. I was like, what was this in my home? Battery low. And at first I was like, there's somebody in my house. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to glue this piece on. I really need to go check what said beep in my home. Beep. I'll be right back. I could not locate the source of the beep. So it is what it is. Do we have this on here? It's just big enough. Yeah. Hopefully there will be no more beeps. And there we go. Okay. I want more numbers. Do I have more numbers? Of course you have more numbers, love. Look, numbers. How many numbers do you want? Well, loads. And these just make for lovely backgrounds um, on, you know, tags and such. Put a lovely fussy cut over it and a post stamp and a label and more Bob's your uncle. Especially if you make these very neutral ones. There we go. What else do we have? Ooh, some lovely handwritten. I'm using expensive pieces of paper for sure yes this is antique but hey stop hoarding everything love okay what else small piece of newspaper advertisement piece yep No, we're going to do this anyway. There we go. Yes. Not a piece of music. You can have it on this. That's a thing, guys. I like mine to go all, you know, directional. But you could have it on its side if you want to. Um. Yeah, that still gives me sort of sleepless nice <laughs> nights. <laughs> But I'm trying to. I'm trying to. There we go. Another tip. If you're making master boards. Try using papers that have sort of the, the same 
a weight to them uh doesn't really matter if you're just doing book pages like this it's okay some will be thinner some will be thicker but i wouldn't mix this up with another piece of scrapbook paper do you know what i mean yes because then i it will be weird it will look weird it will be bumpy oh do we want to put an, an advertisement piece here or this a uh, this I'm going to do this for sure. Am I still on frame? These pieces are big. Did I bury my glue stick? Yeah. <laughs> Buried it. There we go. Sticky, sticky, sticky. This probably came from... Now there's a, a piece of white here. But that's quite right. We're going to cover it up with something else. This? Sure. This probably came from um, a sewing pattern. I think so. And there we go. And I want one more piece here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have such a lovely ledger. Does this fit? It does. It does. Oh, sorry. Nick the camera. Yeah. Gonna have this here. That's upside down. Don't. Don't do upside down. I don't do upside down either. No. No upside down. No on its side. Okay. Fantastic. Already love it. Already love it. Here's what I'm going to do, lovies. I'm going to flip it over. See, everything is sticking out. You can uh, use your scissors, ruler and a knife, or paper trimmer. I'm just going to trim it. I am not yet... Oh, I'm going to flip it over because of the green. I am not yet cutting these into pieces. I just want to make a couple of them as a whole look at this what was i thinking honestly i'm just gonna flip it over okay next one i've taken out digital scraps um i also also organize my digitals when i print them on sort of more cardstock or copy paper and this is all i think printed on cardstock so it's gonna be fine it's going to be fine um i don't even know do not ask me where did those digitals come from i don't know I've had them for years. And, um, well, this collection keeps growing and growing. Because I just love my digitals. I have them a little bit over the edge. So these are sort of, um, well, ephemera pieces. This has lots of white all around it. I think it's going to be a sort of neutralish one um, as well. This is actually copy paper. So I did not do a very good job with organizing my scraps. But that's quite alright, lovely. I'm making noises, I know. Small little birds. There we go. Oh, alrighty then. Now, I, I am very lucky. I have um, a printer scanner that scans and prints a big A3 size. So it also will print. Um, oh, that's cool. Why not? It will also print scrapbook paper. 12 by 12. Piece of this. Sure. Not a big piece. Just a smaller piece. Which means... Um, I can scan my 12 by 12s and then also print them out again on another piece of scrapbook paper that is single sided like this. And I can tell you that is fantastic. Ooh, it's even more fantastic. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this side. Yes. So I, I get a lot of questions about my printer. What sort of printer do you use? I have an Epson Workforce 7840. Yes, I love it. Um, 
when I bought it. It was sort of expensive. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it for my birthday. I'm very happy. Nowadays, if you need to buy this one, you need to take out a loan or rob a bank. It's a very expensive one. So do I recommend it? Yeah, it's a good one. Um, uh, but no, I don't recommend it because I think it's way t it's, it has become way too expensive to... Uh, just I don't I cannot justify the price. It's like four to five hundred euros for a printer. Oh my gosh. No, the answer to that is no. There are probably lots of printers out there that are that are just as lovely, just as lovely. Where I'm going to put this? Well, here. Uh, my advice is if you do invest in a new printer. I do like the Epson. Uh, they also have these eco tanks and such. Uh, I have a print, an ink subscription. Yes, to the ink subscription. Uh, for starters, you never run out of ink because uh, they keep track of it and they send it to your home. And um, um, if you print a lot, like me, it will be less expensive than buying new cartridges and and what have you so that's my biggest tip and print on on, on nice paper i don't use 80 gram um copy paper but 90 grams i think that is just you know a little bit more something sturdier this is actually not a uh, digital. This came in, I don't know, a subscription box or in Happy Mail. These are these pre-printed things that you can also find on AliExpress. If you want. It's, it's lovely though. Yes, I'm making another neutral one. I know. I just, just like neutral ones. Especially if you are going to make these and not uh, use them straight away. Uh, you can add colors to this. Yeah, for sure. I love this. What else do I have that is sort of neutral-ish? Another small piece. Here. What was I thinking? Yes, oh, uh, printers. Yeah. And, oh, um, I print on 90 grams instead of 80 grams. I think it just it's just a, well, just a little nicer. And also... Um, for most of my digitals, I... Oh, I'm going to put this one on. That's cool. I print on um, 160 or 180 grams. And then I use matte photo paper. This one's lovely. I'm going to put this here. Matte photo paper. And you don't need the expensive uh, ones, love. Like, Epson has his own paper. And no, I just buy... Something I buy mine if you're a Dutchie on 123 inked, not sponsored. Um, so you don't, oh, that's cool. I have lots of these small pieces now. You don't actually need expensive stuff. There's even a see, this is not a masterboard I, that I made, and I made a tag, yeah, and has something written on the back. I have no clue what this is. You want to do something like this? Yeah. This was printed on ivory color cardstock. Well, matte photo paper, paper, 180 grams. Are you going to cover up a carrot? I'm going to cover up one of the carrots. Why? Because. Because of this piece of paper. Is it upside down? No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's a bit much of the same. What is this? It is cool. I'm gonna glue it on. There we go. Oh, these are lovely. But I'm not gonna use them on here. There's also no rhyme or reason <laughs> where to start. You can start from the middle. Um, some people like to start from the middle and then work their way towards the, 
the outside. I just like starting in a corner and then see what happens. So if you're a newbie, you're just starting out, here's my advice. Go on um, YouTube and then just, you know, search for masterboards. There are so many lovely YouTubers, lovely artists that make masterboards and everyone has sort of their own style and it's so fun to see. Um, I do that regularly. I just the other day saw one that Andrea Artimes made. Well, it's not a new video. It's actually an older video. She made one and I was like, oh my gosh. I, this is the perfect way to make them. She has a different style than um, what I do. Oh, this is one of my own digitals. Because my brother's name is on here. It's not actually from my brother. Because my, bro <laughs> my brother is from 1976. And this probably came from... 1909 so no it's not actually my brother's name there we go yep what else what we can reuse this yeah i did not hear another beep did you guys hear another beep i didn't i need a strippy of something underneath here on the bottom like this also this also came from one of my digitals uh, I think it's ephemera red oh yeah something that I wanted to uh, address um, a lot of you guys are watching my older videos thank you uh, that's so nice um, and commenting on it and I really love it and I will always comment back but I know in the beginning I did not have a um, a Ko-Fi page and um so i had to send out can we do this yeah i had to send out all the um, freebies manually so uh, a couple of you are watching those videos and now are sending me messages can you please send me this freebie uh, i cannot <laughs> i cannot all the freebies guys all my freebies and digital of digitals of course are available on my ko-fi Kofi is always linked below. Um, but I did not go back to all my older videos and then added my Kofi profile uh, link on there because that would have been a lot of work. Are we going to use this? It will fit. Just gonna put on a bingo card. Why not? And I have lovely freebies, yes. Especially one. Um, I and I made this in the beginning. I scanned some antique um, French index cards. Well, sort of index cards. They're really, really cool. And so a lot of you guys are asking about those. So yes, it's available on Ko-Fi. You can go download it, grab it. I have lots of these in here. Oh, this is actually from a Tracy Fox uh, digital. I think this is my one of my favorites. Uh, Tracy Fox is love junk journals on um, Etsy, guys. So if you go on Etsy, don't look for Tracy Fox because you cannot find it. It's actually the word love junk journals. That's her Etsy name. I don't know. It's something like entomology or specimen slides. I do not know the name of this one anymore. But this is, well, one of my all-time favorites. It's a couple of years old and I still use it now and then. Well, I use it now. Are we going to do this one? Just Then you're going to cover everything. Yeah, but I don't care. Put the glue on here. Sticky, sticky, sticky. There we go. Okay, I have one more piece here. I also want to have him on here somewhere. Because he's so cool. I'm going to have him here. Uh, 
Last piece. Last piece. Mm. Yeah. Oops. Don't break everything, love. I know there's white here, but we're going to cut it off anyway. So, well, are we? Are we? Yes, we are. We are. Oh, I think this is echt... Well, I'm sorry. That's Dutch. This is a real cool one. I have a piece of white left here. I really like this one. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm going to cut all around it, yeah? Let's do... I'm going to do one more. A colorful one. Look, yes. Lovely, right? Yes, no. <laughs> so, again, I'm using Digital's older ones. And I have no clue where uh, they all came from. Well, from my scrap box. Ooh, uh, I know where this com comes from. This is actually from Antique Pastry. And I believe she's active again on uh, on Instagram. I do not know for sure. Somebody told me, oh, well, Antique Pastry um, is doing stuff on Etsy again. Um, there was a time, years and years ago, uh, that she made, well, at least a new digital every week. And she was very affordable, and I probably bought every one of them. <laughs> yeah, and I still use them. This is going to be very eclectic. I'm going to put on a lot. This is and, and Dots, I believe. I'm not linking stuff below, guys. I'm sorry. That'll be a list. That'll be a big list. Um, yes. Ooh, it's going to be all over the place. You know who does this best? Gail. Gail Gostinelli does this a lot. And um, I'm always in awe. I'm like... Really, Gail, you're going to put that piece over it? And then I'm looking at the end result and I'm like, you brilliant woman, you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think mine will come out as nice as hers. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Like so, yeah. Yes, I'm going to cover this piece up. That's quite all right, lovies. It's a good exercise. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. Just glue over it. See? There you go. Ta-da. Um, piece, piece of map. This actually a little bit too raggedy for me. Do you want this? Sure. And there we go. Got a couple of que questions. Why aren't you on Etsy? Well, why would I? I am on, you know, Ko-Fi. Just as lovely. Works the same. Well, I can imagine, guys. Um, Ko-Fi still has a, a, a little bit of problem with paying with Ideal. I am sorry, I cannot fix this. It is possible to pay with Ideal. But uh, especially if you're Dutch, most of the Dutch people have a problem. It doesn't accept Ideal. It does. The thing is... Um, it takes a, a, another step to what we are used to if you're going to pay with Ideal. Um, if you do pay with Ideal and you don't get your uh, digitals, don't worry. Your bank is going to refund it. Yes, as soon as they can. So I get a couple of questions. Can you please refund me because I cannot download my digitals? The bank will refund you, guys, if you pay with digitals. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's I know it's a thing and I, I cannot fix it because it does work. Ideal does work, um, but it just works a little bit different. And I cannot tell you what the different thing is. 
my husband tried to explain to me and I'm like, well, for me, it works. Yes, he told me, but it's an extra sort of step that you need to take uh, in order for it to uh, sort of work. But don't, do not know what the extra step is. So PayPal is actually the, the way to, to go on, uh, on Ko-Fi. Um, but Ed, Etsy has this, I think they do a better job with um, the payments and such. Yeah. This is most likely from Rachel and Bella, but I could be mistaken. We're going to have a lovely bird on here. So we are. Because, oh, why not? Let's just have the lovely bird. I need a little bit more glue here. So, no, I'm not going to be on Etsy. I'm not saying ever, but not very likely for me to be on Etsy. Oh, it does. It does go all the way to the end. So apparently it is all the way to the end. Do we want? I have big pieces here, small pieces there. Why? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ladies, lovely ladies. I'm going to put the ladies there. It's crooked. That's quite all right, loves. Because we're going to cut it up and you're probably not even going to see that it's crooked anymore. Green. <laughs> really? Is that green? Yeah. It's pretty much really green. Don't have it upside down. Okay. I will not have it upside down. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Okay. Purple. this piece I do a lot I, I do I do do <laughs> I do do a lot with scraps so uh, you probably these are probably scraps that you recognize you're like oh yes that's the same sort of scraps that you used uh, uh, a couple of months ago in a scrap video yeah so I need to use them up I need to make room for new scraps That doesn't work for me. Lots of bigger pieces. Oh, look at that. That is so gorgeous, right? Yeah. I need to cut down a little bit. And then put it here. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this was antique papery. But a lot of our older digitals are not available anymore. So I'm very sorry. So I need to use them up. Do you want to use the other piece here? No, because that is too small. Yes, 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 yes. We need something lovely here and we need a small strippy here. No, that's just the same strippy. It's two. Oh, let's just do this one. Yes. I was sort of toying with this one, so let's just do this one. You know what else would have been fun? Having a glue page so I wouldn't have to clean my desk for hours and hours now. <laughs> need a small piece. Uh, what are we using for the small piece? Blue. I'm going to go for this blue blue piece here. Oh, and then and then she ripped it. Oh, that's quite right. It's, it's enough. Is it still big enough? Yes. I have it like so.
fantastic did i make three i made three i think that is enough okay guys i am going to cut all around them let them dry you need to let them dry and then we're going to cut them up into pieces and that is going to be so much fun I have three. All of them are dry. Well, hopefully dry enough. They're completely different. This was the one uh, with all the sort of book pages. Lovely neutral. And then this is neutral, but with all digitals. Yes, and this is very eclectic. So I've taken out my big paper trimmer. This is the rotary cutter from Mr. Tim Holt. Uh, I am not really happy with this device. However, it is perfect for this project so i'm going to take out one of them i'm going to flip it over however because everything is directional i will sort of keep it directional i'm going to take out something and do this this side is up there is no reason or rhyme uh, to this i do it differently every time how i cut it up however it's a 12 by 12 i'm going to start with cutting it in half lengthwise yes so not not turning it not turning it okay i want to make a couple of um i think belly bands yeah and a card but i do not want the belly bands to be 12 by 12 of course so my belly bands are probably gonna be nine inches nine inches yes so i'm going to cut this at nine oh there you go cut this at nine no, a little bit, a little bit up. I'm going to do eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yes. Okay. So this is probably going to be a journal card or a pocket or a what have you. Then I'm going to cut a belly band that is two and a half inches. Two inches. Sure, let's do two inches. Then I have four left. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. This is going to be my belly band. And uh, this is four by six. No, it's not. It's not. I'm going to cut this at... I'm going to make a smaller card. At three. One at three. And one like this. Yes. It, it doesn't really matter, Lovies. Honestly, it doesn't. I'm going to cut this at... Six or five? Oh, let's do five. This was up. Going to make some tags. This is six. Going to have two tags that are three wide. Yeah, I am. These are going to be two tags. And then I have this. I'm going to make another strippy of two inches. So this will be a shorter belly band. Also, I have the feeling that this trimmer... It's not cutting straight. By no means. No. So is it rubbish? Pretty much. Pretty much. And I'm going to cut this in half. Are you? No, a little bit further. I'm going to do uh, this. Yes? Okay. Let's find out, guys. Because this is the fun part. Now they're all lovely pink. But I'm going to flip them. So I have this one with a bingo card. Yes, you can round corners, put some lovely uh, writing paper on the back and have it as a journal card. I have this one, really cool. Again, rounding corners. This is going to be um, either a small uh, tag. You can make this into a tall tag or a belly band or a side loading pocket. These are going to be tags. Oh, those are lovely. Yes, I'm going to snip corners here. This is going to be a belly band. Perfect. And then I have a small card. Beautiful. A larger one. And that is pretty. And then this one's probably going to be a pocket. Taking out my corner rounder and my... Um, I have this. Am I happy with that one? Not really. Not really. Okay. Rounding corners. On the big ones, I'm using my big corner, corner rounder. Ooh, it's very heavy because, uh, well, it's collaged on, uh, what's I call it, scrapbook paper. See? Yeah. I'm going to do this a little bit smaller. Oh, doesn't want to go. 
Please go. Ooh. Hopefully I didn't break. I didn't break it. No, I didn't. Yes. Not going to do anything to this. Um, I'm going to make this into a tag shape. So I have my template. Scissors. Cutting this off. And then the same on the other side. Yeah, I have another one of those. There we go. I'm going to make a tall skinny side of that. Well, for this, I can use this, of course. Can you? Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> doesn't even want to go. So I'm going to do this. Maybe on the other side. Yes, just a tall, skinny tag. Is that upside down? So upside down. <laughs> Very much upside down. So here's what I'm doing. I'm doing it on both sides. Yeah. Bookmark. Yes, lovely bookmark. Okay, are we doing anything to this? Keeping this as is. Oh, I'm going to make uh, a small pocket. So I'm going to make a notch in here. Let's just make some pockets. Yes, pockets and um, a side loading pocket. Let's have a bigger one. It's going to be a side loading pocket. Yes, pocket, pocket, bookmark. Tag, tag, belly band, journal card, journal card, another pocket. Uh, I'm going to make this into a slanted pocket. Yes, I'm just going to do this. Yes, slanted pocket. Cool. Do we want the corners no I'm not gonna round the corners let's ink it for a little bit i'm going to ink them now for the journal cards that i made these cards and the tags it would have been smarter to have waited with a cutting corners and just put some lovely sort of uh coffee dyed paper or another paper on it and then cut the corners but hey i was just too enthusiastic you can still put uh, other stuff on but then you have to sort of do the corners again so i'm just inking them uh rather dark i've used uh, what's gonna call it? Scorched timber. Scorched timber. There you go. And they're nice and sturdy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy we didn't cut his uh, face in, in half. <laughs> That's always a possibility, guys. You're gonna cut something. If you're gonna flip it over. Um, yes. But to me, that's just the most fun part. I hardly ever do it any other way. Now this comes loose. That's quite all right. That's why they invented glue loves. Just put some extra glue on. Now these are just very pretty um, as a background. Put something else on and you have a lovely tag. It's just cool. See again, neutral background. Add some color. By all means, add a little bit of color. Put another lovely fussy cut on of a flower or a, a rub-on. Well, rub-ons will work on this because this is not the actual antique paper. It will not work on the antique paper. On the book pages. There you go. Slanted pocket. Yes. Belly band or large side tuck. Love them. See, he has a little bit of the, <laughs> the guy on the bicycle on here. Just makes for an interesting background. And sometimes um, a card is just done. You're like, okay, perfect. Don't add anything to it anymore. Then, then you're done. Yeah. But you could add stuff. Made a mistake. So now I've made it into a bookmark. Which means probably going to have a... Um, a whole reinforce on the top and put on a lovely topper like a woolly or something and then you can put it 
in your journal in between the pages and a side loading pocket now i did all the sort of the pocket directions already on here but by all means if you're gonna mass make them don't put in the notches or what have you just have them straight and take out a piece and then decide is this going to be a pocket is this going to be a journal card uh where do we need it and also let's for instance say oh it's a little bit too big scissors just cut it down just cut it down guys no worries at all so here's what we've done we've turned less love scrapbook paper and paper scraps that of all sorts into a fantastic piece of ephemera because from one of these guys from a 12 by 12 i have one two three four five six seven eight pieces of ephemera yeah that you can use for all sorts for all sorts so it's a fantastic way to use up your scraps and to use papers that you normally wouldn't use um well i i really like using the the scrapbook paper because it makes it very very sturdy also we're going to use let's uh, for instance say the um, the big book pages from an encyclopedia these will be a little bit thinner it's going to be quite all right loves but what you can do and what i do almost always but i oh and even more nine pieces um before i cut this Cover this with scraps, but blank paper, like lined paper, grid paper, or, or paper that is sort of, has lots of space for writing on. Uh, and then cut them up, because then if you're going to make journal cards out of them, it'll be lovely. Let's see if I can show you. See? Yes, I've used uh, this, or this, or this. This is with book pages. This is a digital that you could use for, for writing. See? So um, this is just on scrapbook paper. So I won't use the backs of these. So by all means, do another sort of um, big collage with just the writable papers on the blank papers. Then cut them in pieces. So if you then have a tag, you don't have the beautiful pink. Well, I love pink, but this is no, no. Yes, and also with the with the journal cards. But you can also do it after you cut them. Yeah? Okay, guys, that's it for today. I I really enjoyed it. This is so much fun. It's so relaxing. And it's sort of very practical because we're using up scraps. We're using up paper that we normally wouldn't use. And you have bunches. Well, I have you see I have I do collect them. <laughs> I have bunches. I need to start using them. Yeah. So go on, lovies. Make some. Make some. I am almost positive that you will enjoy yourself. Guys, that's it for today. I'll be back again this Wednesday with another mask make. Only two mask makes to go, guys. Yes. Can you guess uh, one of them? Because I'm going to do one of my favorite projects ever in a mask make. Leave comments down below. So I'll see you this Wednesday. Until then, bye guys.